last time you were here, so it was about 10 months ago. Yeah. The, the next day, I guess the adoption was in the process. Yes. And the very next day, yes. you got a brand new little baby girl. I did. Yeah, we did. Thank you. And... I, I actually... I had actually gotten the news like moments before doing your show, so you I must was have like, been like, I was out "How did of my you focus mind. even?" I didn't go look at the tape. Watch the like, tape. So you didn't know, like you were on call. I guess you were on alert that yeah, it could happen exactly. any day. Yeah, exactly. And then I always wonder, like, so usually when you're going to have a baby, you prepare all kinds of things, and, yeah. and you're used to getting up in the middle of the night, right? Because you're so all of a sudden you have a brand new baby in your house. Was it just it was crazy to have a little thing that you're holding going? Ah. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was, it was really crazy. The weirdest and kind of hardest part was that my wife actually had to fly up uh, uh, to meet the baby uh, before me. So she actually met the baby alone. And I, we Skyped, you know, or, you know, int web chatted that night. And I was like on the web looking at her. And I have never seen my wife like that before. And I didn't, it was, it was so terrifying for me to see that, like, she was like... <laughs> We have a child. Uh, yeah. and, then, and then she flew back with the baby by yeah. herself? On the uh, no, plane? I flew up there. Oh, good. So, flew, yeah, yeah. that's a lot to all yes. of a sudden have yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And her name is? Frances. Frances. And, yeah. And so she's 10 months now, which is insane. That's, she, that's how I know how long it's been since you've been here. I measure, yeah. I measure by how old Frances is going to be. Then, hopefully we can yeah. always do that. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and what is, is she good? Is she a good baby? She's and, an amazing baby. She's now, um, anybody who has kids, you know, she's at that phase now where she's really mobile and is kind of entering into her first sort of multitasking where she can kind of shake a rattle and try to make out with an electrical outlet <laughs> at the same time. Maybe she's not shaking it on purpose. Oh, maybe, that, could you know, that could be. Maybe it's the electrical outlet that's <laughs> shaking the rattle, you know? I'm going to keep uh, that one, yes. Um, we have... Wait, what do you mean by that? What do you mean making out with an electrical... Well, she's... Have you baby Like all children, they are innately drawn to the most dangerous and valuable things in your home. They look for them, they, they find them, some, something deep inside of them. She, so we're constantly having to baby-proofing the outlets and all of that. And she loves... We have one metal outlet in the house on the floor, you know? And it's locked and it has metal covers on it, but she loves to just get... It's awkwardly intimate, her with the outlet, just like... <laughs> Uh, wow. And, yeah, she just, she loves, <laughs> loves metal. No. Uh, and so I called my mom, I called my mom and was like, God, Frances is just like, going, I mean, I, she can't get shocked by it because it's totally covered, but it's still like, I, it still scares me a little in many ways uh, that, that, that she's making out with this yes. outlet. My mom said, I can t I'll tell you what is good for that. Sprinkle just a little bit of cayenne pepper. <laughs> On, on the outlet. That's so, horrible. What kind so, of mother? What kind of? My mother is an old-fashioned farm farm gal. So, I. Uh, you um, did it. I took some rags. No. So I took some rags in case she got it on her fingers, so I could you know wipe it off of her fingers, and I put just a little bit of cayenne pepper on the thing. So she crawls over to the outlet and she goes. Yeah.